My point is I'm very much more open-minded about what comes next. I'm very much more open-minded about styles, about playing styles. Who forget I came at Nottingham Forest, you know, who at that time were playing modern football like you've never known. And yet they presuppose that I've changed everything for my own way, but I haven't. I've looked at the players we've got. I've looked at the best chance that we can be successful. I've looked at the best chance that they can be successful. Because don't forget, when you're bringing in Michael Keane for two million and selling him for 25, that's success. You know what I mean? Danny Ings for a million selling him for nine back in the day. That's success as well. You know, these are different kinds of uh, successes, but they are successes. Tom Eaton, we bought him for a free transfer, just been relegated at Bristol City, plays for England, has seven or eight years at the club, gets sold for nine million at like 32. I mean, they're big successes. So in answer to your question, I think the question was implying, have you got more than just these simple things that put you in a box? It's not that I'm being grandiose about it. I think I could offer something that could affect a different situation, a different club, and if it needed a different style as well, whilst still remaining true to the fact of what I believe is important and what I believe is important for any team. And so, you know, moulding that into a different version, I think I'm more than capable of. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it seemed to me, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but the legs, hearts and minds, you were tailoring that for the town and the club. As a, It's not necessarily yeah. all you and what you are. Well, well whether, whether it is or not, it's not a bad thing, you know, to have legs, hearts and minds. That's not a bad thing. No, 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 not no, no, no. So I think the truth of it is, I remember doing my first uh, big sort of press conference or, or big-ish at the time, you can imagine. And I just said, look, the one thing, I can't guarantee the, the best football, amazing football, I can't guarantee this and that. But what I can guarantee is you'll have a group of people who give everything and there will be sweat on the shirt. So I thought, well, you know, you've got to know Burnley's a very, very working class. Right? Lots of trouble. They've had so many t- harsh times in the Burnley area. I thought, well, what, what, is it, what, what would you expect as a Burnley fan? Well, I'd expect somebody who wears that shirt and gives everything to try and win a game. And that, that was the minimum I thought. The minimum requirement is maximum effort. There you go. There's another one of my slogans. So, you know, I was just went on that kind of thinking. And I thought that was important to the area. And then, of course, as you're suggesting, when later on when we started building the club, then I thought, yeah, legs, hearts and minds fits. You know, it fits this place because we're going to have to, we're definitely going to have to run. If you're in the Premier League and you're at Burnley, you're running. Don't worry about that. Um, heart because you've got to care, you know, I think. And minds because... You've got to be open-minded to the challenge. You know, if you're at Burnley, you're in the Premier League, rather than hide away from, you know, make big big statements, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. We were like, no, no, lads, what we're going to do is understand what we do and the reasons we do it to get the outcome we want. So therefore, that's going to take focus as well. So, you know, trying to get a feel of a club, that's what it was. um, and, And we created that.